killing all these people, <laughs> Russell. Just, <laughs> Nobody's met her. <laughs> <laughs> he met her. He met her tonight. Okay, Earl, because I can't say the name, uh, I'll need you to say it again one more time. It's a koala monkey. <laughs> You've lost enough equipment over the years. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> we don't want this falling off the edge. <laughs> All right, you guys see this gentleman standing back here? That's Earl, Lone Star Reptiles. And uh, Earl called me up a few days ago. Well, I guess it was more than a few days ago. Now it wasn't. It was probably a few months ago. And he had something to tell me that I was, was very intriguing and I, was, I thought was pretty cool. And it also touched my heart a little bit. And uh, before I tell you guys about that, I kind of want to show you how our day started here in, in Texas so you can get a little feel for where my mind might be at. But we'll get there and then we'll come back and we'll talk to Earl and see what's going on. Ah! Ah, still early in California, Texas, Texas, Te oh, you guys ready for the show? Here we're here at UFC 257, Johnson versus Johnson, it's Jesse's birthday today, Valentine's Day, how do you feel about it sir? Oh, it's great, I'm just drinking some water, you know, it's, uh, it's real early over here, we thought we were going to set up a little earlier than we thought. Let me tell you how this usually works. Jesse Definitely. usually says, F***ed up this time. <laughs> I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> this time, he says. This time. Only this time, I'm going to He usually, so he'll always say, oh, you know, we're going to be down there setting up by like 6 or 7 o'clock, and then next thing you know, it's like the promoter saying, oh, no, we can't get into the building until like 11. And I told him this was going to happen. I said, this is exactly how it's going to go down this morning. <coughs> and he's like, oh, <coughs> order some pancakes. All right, so here this year at UFC 257, we're going for good vibes, good high vibes. tides. I know this is Texas. I'm not really sure what happens here in Texas, actually. I was here last time, but I had to leave the show early. So I'm really looking forward to what this show has to offer. They do say that everything is bigger in Texas, but the thing about California is that it's like at least five or six times the size of Texas. I'm not sure if that's population or land mass. It's probably both. But we're going to see which we have. <laughs> I don't know how you said that with a straight face. No, but in all seriousness, folks, I'm looking forward to confronting lots of people about my personal issues here at this show because uh, I think there are a lot of people here that need to be confronted about my personal issues. So we'll be confronting those personal issues together with the other attendees here at UFC 257. Are you ready? What in the UFC 257? Uh, uh, What's 257? Uh, UFC 257. That's what, we're, that's what we're doing here today. We're doing UFC 257? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. he's the new owner. He doesn't sound ready. Are you ready for UFC <laughs> 257? <laughs> ready. <laughs> Look at these new shirts. Let's see that shirt. Oh, yeah. yeah. What was the good for? Oh, tell me. Happy birthday! First things first, we gotta first make sure first. everything's ready here at yeah. the show. Uh, is that is everything looking ready for you? It's looking right. It's looking good. It's looking looking tits, but don't put that in there. But it's looking amazing. Everything's here. It doesn't look like any damages. Does it Keep look it like going. we're gonna have to do a lot of work, or is it already pretty much set up for us? Definitely, we're gonna do a lot of work this time. It's not all. No, no, no. Or... This isn't good. The show's over. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case there was any question as to who stands around talking hey, 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 while hey. other people are working, well, just working so we know for sure exactly what's happening. What do you have to say for yourself, sir? For the fifth. <laughs> hey, you're not, you're not so supposed to be a subject. You're supposed to just. I'm not here. <laughs> you want the microphone? What are you doing? Filming people working? Lollygagging, huh? Filming people working. It's work. The May shots are finally kicking in. Uh, <laughs> Gentlemen, how does it feel to take over for Jesse's talking role? Well, that's pretty good. I mean, I can always count on you for production quality, the good mics and all that kind of stuff. So whenever I get a chance to be on your channel, I like it. It just comes across so crisp and clear. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not like my stuff. My stuff is like I filmed it in the bathroom or something. You know what I mean? It's crap. Well, get yourself some better equipment. It might start sounding a little better, okay? I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to do that. No. Oh, great. Great. Okay. Great. As long as you're not going to play. I did not. I think you just told me about this. 
No, that's what water. these are going to be from now on because everything is perfect now. Honestly, it just started out as a joke. There was way too much talking going on, but it is his birthday, so I'm going to give him a real strong pass. Even though I ended up doing most of the work here today, we're not quite done yet, but this part of the story is over. We're moving on to the good stuff. Tell me what's going on tonight. What, what's happening? All right, so you want me to, to, to tell you the, the backstory on her? Yeah, let's get yeah, let's get the backstory. Okay, so the backstory is a couple years ago, a a woman called me and said that they wanted to buy a snake for their daughter, and she was having open heart surgery. So they came out and picked out a snake, and they weren't going to pick it up for a couple of weeks or a couple of months until after the surgery. So when they come back out to get it, you know, I just gave the snake to her. I couldn't charge them anything for it. Uh, so I've gotten to be really good friends with these people over the years, uh, our last couple of years. And anyway, this weekend is her birthday and her favorite person in all the reptile world is none other than Brian Cusco. And so I called Brian, I said, hey, I really want you here. You know, I'd like you to come out and, you know, we surprise her. And so actually tomorrow is her birthday. So we're going out to dinner tonight and I'm gonna sneak Brian in and we're gonna sing, sing happy birthday to her. When she turns around, she's gonna see him and just go nuts. So it's gonna be awesome. So I'm obviously, I, I don't know how to explain. It's kind of it's kind of weird for me when people like <laughs> know me like, but the fact that it's a, a little girl like that, I mean, it just, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know what to say that, that she wants to meet me for her birthday. That's, that's a big deal for me. Hey. And, I don't, and if it feels good right here, it does feel good right here. It's, it's almost the, like it's the, the painful, thing, painful dude. kind of good feeling. You know what I mean? Like it's the, awesome. It's an awesome so feeling. Yeah. I'm looking forward to meeting her. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of tears tonight. I can tell you that. <laughs> oh no, not oh, for yes. me. Not for me. Oh yeah, there. <laughs> hey, because there's gonna be a lot of videoing, and, and everybody's gonna tear up. It's gonna be. It's gonna be awesome. All right. It's gonna be so worth it. All right. Let's see how many tears we drop today. <laughs> <laughs> what it's all about. Dude, I, I gotta say, there's one thing. I feel like uh, your accent's rubbing off on me already. I, that happens. <laughs> is that? Is it? Do you notice it? Do you know? Am I starting to have a little bit of a this Texas draw? Does that happen to me? Quang. It happens. Like I pick up those little things like really fast. All of a sudden, I'll be a in in Canada and stuff. And you, you know, what? Mr. Goodman. Hey, man. <laughs> you want to hear the funniest part? I was born in Lodi, California. All right, we're on our way to go meet Gracie at dinner, and a little bit nervous. I don't know. It's, interesting feeling I'm, I'm nervous man I like I don't want to I don't want to disappoint her you know it's like her birthday present it's it's, it's uh Brian is her birthday present <laughs> I mean literally it's a lot of pressure man it's just a, it's a lot of pressure I'm a, it's an appreciative She's 11 years pressure. old I don't know how to feel I, I don't know how to feel I feel good it, I don't know how to feel it's it's complicated how I feel but I'm definitely a little bit nervous but I'm and honored at the same time does that make sense Absolutely. You walk in first with the camera, and we're gonna come in behind you. But you want me to have right. it pointed on Grace? Yes, yes. All right. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Uh, put, put Gracie in this corner for now. Go over here. Wait. How are you going? So me and Grace have just been hanging out. We're kind of talking about the fact that Miguel was maybe supposed to come here, but he didn't know. <laughs> we're not going to give him more crap. Miguel, where are you? <laughs> it's an old joke at this point. It's a real old joke at this point. Where is Miguel? <laughs> where is Miguel? Where is he? Where is Miguel? Um, 
So, look, look you, am I turning red? I'm turning red right now, Luke, I think. Am I turning red? Wow. So you got, you think you were nervous? Look, I'm, I'm really nervous. I'm like, I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of speechless that you, that you want to. Do you have anything you'd like to say to people so I can take this camera off my red ass face? Or... <laughs> uh, you got the platform. You can tell people whatever you want to say about whether or not I'm, I'm shorter or, or you can say whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right, that makes two of us. We're both super nervous. We're, we're in this together, sis. Nervous together. A two-year-old. Yeah, probably. So did, Earl so. has invited all of us to his house, and we got everybody in the house. They're over there checking out some baby crocodile skins right now that, that Earl has shot recently. And uh, I believe he's got lots of other animals here. I don't think we're just gonna hang out in his living room. We got. You can see there's other people filming. I will put a link down in the description for everybody over here that's filming this. You can get other perspectives of what's going on here at Earl's house. So you can find those links. Down in the description, see the other videos that people are putting out right now. We got we got Mr. Ton Jones in the house over there. You guys may know him. He's pretty awesome. There's, I mean, everybody here is really awesome, honestly. I mean, regardless, yeah. this is just the first time I met Ton. He was he was awesome in person to meet. So and this guy's all been awesome in person to meet. The first time everybody's awesome. Rivet. You got something to say to the people? Uh, good morning. How are you doing? Welcome to the establishment. We're going to have a lot of fun this evening. I hope you enjoy the ride. Is it a hangout to help you? Fun. Probably the most awesome thing about. The so evening is that they say, I, I hang out to help you. <laughs> All right, you know what? There's Whatever there's too much. It's loud in here. There's lots of filming. There's a little spending space. Again, there's a link down in the description. Everybody else is filming there. You'll get closer shots. You win this camera. But I want to say that, that Gracie and I tomorrow we're gonna go to the show. We're gonna walk around. We're gonna try and find reptiles that she's never seen before. So you can tune in tomorrow and check us doing that out. We both gotten over our, our nervousness. Now we're used to each other. We're gonna be able to do a good video for you guys. Coming up next at the show checking out the cool animals at the show all right all right link in description uh peace out just subscribe to the uh bottom of the ocean and make sure you find other people to watch because i've lost all professionalism don't push your tongue in his mouth put him in your put him in your mouth it's head first Cusco, what do you think i think that this is awesome this is the first time i've held a gila monster or any type of beaded lizard for that matter it's pretty cool are you in love it's valentine's day dude i'm in there's a little pink heart right on the back of his head right there you can see a little tiny pink heart there's pink hearts all over his body this is a valentine's day lizard i've never seen him oh man see all right. Paris. Of all the links in the description, of all Carrie? the people that are here filming, they yeah, make sure you guys go check out Earl here, who hosted us all yes. and made this whole awesome yeah. evening happen for all of us. There will be a link down there for Earl's Sorry. channel. You want to see everything that happens here on a regular basis? You can go find that along with everybody else here filming today. Good times, great people, good oldies. Don't fart on yourself too hard because when you get into an age, it's like eh, sometimes it gets a little funky. You might be pushing something else besides gas out. Oh. It's always the follow-up that you makes you worried. <laughs> and now, now that I've talked about pooping, I don't think he likes me anymore. He's like, wait a minute, this guy's weirder than everybody else in the room right now. Let's get away from him. <laughs> He's getting a little funky. <laughs> we were supposed to have alligators here tonight, and the girl flaked out on me. They were supposed to be here last night. Wow, and I'm really not cool, getting them until Sunday night. already so, saw the crop. Because I was, I was I trying to bring them in so everybody could play with them. I think I started making them nervous when I was talking about pushing stuff out of your anus. <laughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs> Come here, Carrie. That's awesome. Thank you, Tony. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Okay. When you hold him, put put this hand out. When Ton Jones is your cameraman, I think it's a good <laughs> evening, right? Yeah. <laughs> now that it's a tad quieter, I just wanted to point out one little simple thing here: the fact that Earl lives in the city of Alvarado, and in the city of Alvarado, to have more than five ball pythons, you need to have a permit. But you can have all the rattlesnakes you want. No? <laughs> no, okay, just no, kidding. <laughs> wow. I'm kidding, I would never say I see it. I don't see it whatsoever. I don't see it. Wow. I don't see it. I don't see it. Last man standing, end of the evening. We made it. Last man standing.